Virus, it is there, right? So there are many ways by which the exchange, the genetic exchange, is happening. Okay, so in the case of the process, during this pairing, the genetic exchange between the chromosomes occurs. So this is all we have studied in R eleventh and twelfth also. And this exchange, uh, which is termed crossing over, is one of the results of the homologous recombination. Now, why it is homologous? Because they are the homologous chromosomes, and between these homologous chromosomes only the recombination is happening. Once this recombination involves the physical exchange of DNA sequences between the chromosomes, this means that a part of this chromosome, okay, if it is your part, is so this will be bound with your and vice versa. So a proper DNA segment is actually getting crossed between the chromosomes. So this uh, this is just the basics, uh, the introduction to the chapter. What we are going to discuss in this, right? Okay. So the frequency of crossing over between the two genes on the same chromosome depends on the physical distance. So इतना ज़्यादा distance होगा, उतना ज़्यादा frequency होगा of exchange. Okay. In fact, genetic mapping derived from early measurements of crossing over frequencies gave the first real information about chromosome structure, but DNA and genes are linked in a fixed linear order. So as we are going to study further also in our genetics too, that if you have got the chromosome and genes A, B, C are there, right? Then the crossing over between the genes is possible when the gap is formed. So, this we have said that if the distance between these genes are long, then the frequency is going, frequency of exchange is going to be high. And it was also said that these genes are present in a fixed number. So, whenever this exchange is happening, that time we get a difference of like this, the difference in the uh, in the allele sequence. So sometimes, however, gene order does change. For example, like here, the transposons, like about which I was just mentioning before. So these transposons occasionally jump from one chromosome to another, and thus they rearrange the DNA rearrangements. So the recombination mechanism responsible for transposition and the DNA rearrangements are distinct from those of homologous recombination. So the first thing is that uh, that uh, homologous recombination is happening. Whereas transposition is happening where the homologous sequences are present. And there are some more similarity in the sequence will be there, the transposons will jump from there and it will be the sequences. So homologous recombination is essential to the process of discovery. Enzymes or different proteins are involved. For example, the such for any junctions which is formed uh, in the case of prokaryotes, also there are different uh, recombination pathways. So different proteins are used. There is one pathway called red PCD pathway, which is similar to the early junction formation, but it is used for the repair of the DNA. See, there is a lot of TGA which is common between prokaryotes and eukaryotes, and those are what we will be discussing in the upcoming sessions. So besides providing genetic information, recombination allows cell to retrieve sequence of the same DNA. Now this is only possible between the homologous chromosome. Okay. So recombination also provides the mechanism to restart or uh, restart stored or damaged replication. So, okay, this is also important because you have to take a DNA damage. Let us say that the double strand uh, break is there. If you are guys calling, so you will know that we have discussed about the uh, different types of the damage in the previous session. So that was DNA. Here, we have a double strand break. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so focus on. So what happens? The DNA polymerase gets stuck. Now, because of this recombination, and it happens. What will happen? There will be the exchange of the sequences, and then the DNA polymerase is able to proceed. So there are special other types of recombinations also, which reduce the expression of some of the genes. 
So you see that over here with all this, but what I want to say is that the recognition process is very essential for the uh, cell system. Okay? So for example, when switching specific segments within the chromosome, cells will put otherwise dominant genes into sites where they are expressed. So these cases are there, for example, in the case of mycobacterium, you know that uh, it is difficult to kill, okay? Because they get very easily switched to their dormant conditions. And that's the reason why that they are able to cause deep eating whenever the, they found the required environment is present. Now, let's talk about the recombination. And before that, we should know that the DNA breaks are common and initiates the recombination. A <clears throat> recombination of that glosses, which is again programmed, and the rest of the recombination is required in the cell system whenever they, whenever the cell found, finds a DNA damage. <clears throat> so let's talk about the DNA damages over here. So double strand breaks in RBAB arise frequently. Now these are very frequent as we have seen in the previous <clears throat> Uh, session also that DNA damage can be because of the UV radiations are there, many uh, chemical reagents are there. So because of all these uh, mutagens and all, it is easy or it is very frequent for double strand breaks to be found. Okay, in the chain. Now, if the, suppose these breaks are not apparent, so what will happen? The cell is undergoing apoptosis. Okay, or there is no other way to save the cell, so the cell is a apoptosis rather than becoming a cancer. Now, for example, a single DSB, that is single double strand break in the E. coli chromosome, is lethal to the cell that lacks the ability to repair. So, what does it mean? So, it means that so E. coli cell is not going to survive. Okay, it is not going to survive. And the major mechanism used to repair it, most of cases of double strand break is your non homologous end or homologous recombination. So, this we have discussed in our previous. Uh, chapter. Okay, so this is about non homologous end joint. Now, in the case of bacteria, the major biological role of homologous recombination is to repair the double stranded brain. As we said before, the DNA is uh, getting broken because of the several means like artificial and other damaging agents. Okay? Now, for example, unprepared nick in one DNA strand will lead to collapse of passive of the replication. So even this is very important to understand like the body and how these double strand breaks are affecting the uh, cell cell body. Okay. Now, uh, a lesion in DNA that makes a strand unable to serve as a template to stop the replication. Okay. So there are many pathways by which it can be done. So we'll just see this thing. Okay, so we have got the figure over here, and this figure is talking about the damage in the DNA template, which can lead to double strand formation during the DNA replication, double strand break formation during the DNA replication. You have got the chromosome over here, right? Chromosome replication focus it. Now, suppose just imagine that there is a break, okay, there is a break over here. So, what will happen? So, your replication will get stopped there itself, okay. And it is not going to have further. So, what do we see here? During the replication, only one of the parental strand will have its complete daughter cell, a daughter strand, and the other one is broken. So, here we see that there is loss. Okay. Now, another scenario. Let's see that there is a DNA lesion in the template strand. Okay. What will happen? The fourth is going to collapse. Only one strand. Then here, see, look at here. What is happening? So, because of this fourth collapse. Okay, for collapse means the replication force has been broken down. So what is happening over here? Then because of the double strand break, the recombination, it is going to act now. It is not able to complete the replication, but we have a double strand break as a decay and have a recombination. Yeah. Okay. So guys, you guys can comment to me if any doubts you might so, in case of the eukaryotic cells, homologous recombination is critical for repairing the DNA breaks and the collapse replication. So, the whole chromosome repair and replication we start as a principal function in the case of the homologous recombination. Now, sometimes what will happen? These recombinations are required for the genetic exchange of the chromosome maintenance and as this area we have been taken the meiosis case. But it is also important for repairing a double strand break. Okay. 
so guys actually we need by need so this is just introduction like uh, what kind of help we get if we have got the neurons in combination have with the cell system so aage ke lecture mein hum padhenge ki kaise ye neuron ka formation hota hai and how it is being uh proceed for with the help of the proteins okay kis